Hello and welcome. I'm attorney Thomas Burton. And today I'm going to show you how to see if your LLC name is available. Now an LLC also known as limited liability company is a great entity for many business owners forming a small business in their state. I am an estate planning and business attorney licensed in Wisconsin. So I'm going to show you the process to see if your name is available in Wisconsin. But there is a process from what I am aware in almost all the states where you can form an LLC, all 50 states, to search to see if the name is available before you file your application to form your LLC. So in Wisconsin, the department that handles these is the Wisconsin Department of Financial Institutions. In many states, it's the Secretary of State's office. So if you're looking for the government agency that handles LLCs in your state, I would Google uh, LLC formation and the name of your state. You could possibly put in Secretary of State or also corporate name registry in your state, but you want to go to the actual government website because that's where in Wisconsin you can search for free. And I believe most states now have moved to the online uh, registration system. So here on WDFI.org, go to, I want to search on the top left and then corporate records. And you'll see that takes us right here to the search corporate records database. And here you can search the legal entity name, the date, the entity type, registered agent. But you'll see right below it here in purple is name availability. Well, it's purple for me. It might be blue for you. But if you just want to search the corporate records for the name availability, this is the place to do it. So let's go ahead and do a search here. And I always suggest if you're working with your attorney or anyone else that you have three names in mind, maybe your primary name and then a couple backups. So I've done this before, but Badger Best Painting, let's see if that's available in Wisconsin. And you can see it says, no records appear to conflict with the name you entered. Although there appears to be no conflict, final determination cannot be guaranteed. So that exact phrase appears to be available, but if you've watched some of my Badger painting, without the Badger Best is already in use. You see 2014 Badger Painting LLC was formed in Wisconsin, and it's in Appleton. So you can't use Badger Painting, and I'll just do one more example here. In Wisconsin, the Badger State Badger is popular, so if you search for Badger, you can also see the Badger Company has already been taken. But a less popular name, like let's say John Smith Painting, John Smith is popular, but there appears to be no one, no entity named John Smith Painting LLC. Now that's the name. You might want to go back to this or go to this advanced search where you can search by not just the exact phrase, but using all of the words. So, you know, before you are certain the name is available, do some different searches like that one I just did there using all of the words that would be helpful because you can see what's out there for badger painting if you're considering using this name we've got a badger painting LLC a badger painting comma LLC but that was dissolved in 2017 badger custom painting badger painting contractors badger state painting so that would give you an idea of if I'm looking to form my entity and call it Badger Painting, what's out there? Because 
part of this is thinking about competitors as well. If you're near any of these businesses, like Boomerang Badger Painting is in Madison, uh, you might be advertising in their market and just not want a Google search for their website to go, uh, someone searching for you to go to their website, vice versa. Likelihood of confusion. So think about that with your branding. So part of this is legal. What can you actually name the company? And you can only name it a company that isn't in use. Now, some of these that have been dissolved, it's possible the department now would give you that name. But just a caution, I would consider whether you want a name. Uh, some companies have bad publicity associated with them. And so if it was recently dissolved, like 2019, they might be going to reinstate it by filing the fees. Or, you know, it could have on the internet some negative connotations and you don't want that associated with your new business if that's not really you. So that's one example. Let's just try one more. Wisconsin Painting here, another popular name in Wisconsin. So you can see all the versions of Wisconsin Painting. Wisconsin's Painting. Here, someone has it in 2019. And there's different versions here. Bulldog, Central Wisconsin. So you can look through these and decide what you want to name yours. Now... This is just using a popular name. You can be creative and think out of the box when coming up with your name. And that's how many great brands came up with their name. And I always can add words. So, you know, you can do Northwest Wisconsin painting, especially if you're a regional basis. And that looks available. Uh, similarly, Badger painting might be taken, but you could do Northwest Badger. So think about your brand, where you want to operate, things like that. Now, in terms of the LLC, you don't have to name it. If it's for a different type of entity and it, you want it to be uh, private, not have anything to do with your brand, you can just name it whatever you want. You know, you can name it Bucky. Well... That's a brand, but let's say there's some, uh, your cabin is on Forest Road and you want to use that as the LLC. So look, here's Forest Lake Road. So you can't use that, but Forest Road LLC might be available, it looks like, from this. Because if we just go back to the exact phrase, there's no results. So in general, I wanted to show you how do you get to it. And again, I'll just run through from the home page here. Go to I want to search, corporate records, and then name availability to see if the name you're thinking about is available. And if you're working with an attorney, they'll run this search for you. But before you meet with them, it's a good idea to have your list down to top two or three names that you think would work and give it to them, even if you did your search online and such, and let them run a search as well. Make sure it appears to be available. And then the final decision is up to the Department of Financial Institutions when they examine your application, your articles of organization you're proposing to file to determine if it's available. But it's a lot better to just pick a name that's available before you submit than submit the articles using a name already in use, as I showed you, because then the department just has to uh, inform you it's not available based on those grounds. So I hope this video has been helpful to you as you think about forming your own LLC. If it has, consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel so more people can see and benefit from this information as well.
Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.